Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joshua Matthew. If you are old yet, thanks and if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So today I'm going to talk about how to design a photo album. So we have done that previously. So today what I want to show you how you can do it manually, page by page in Photoshop on like CorelDRAW. So now we are going to we are going to Photoshop now and I'm going to show you how to design it. So first of all, then I'm going to show you a sample of these books. So to understand about what we are going to do today. Like now for, for instance, you can see this book now. Then when you see it click very clear, then you see that this place is page one. Then and at the end of it, at the end here, then you will see page 20. I hope you can see that. So I hope you can see page 20 here. Then, and when you open it, when you open it, you will see that here is 19, then followed by 18 over here. So, this is what we are going to do today how to do it using Adobe Photoshop. So, this is page 2 and 3. So we are going to do it manually using Photoshop. This tutorial today, this is going to be very, very brief. Because of time, there are things I'm going to make it more easy way. Then concerning the guideline, then you can check this video or the recent video we did concerning photo book or photo album. So before any further ado, let's get into Photoshop now. All right, so here now I have set the guideline. Then the first things I'm going to do now, then I'm going to pick my rent angle. Then I'm going to draw the rent angle here. So having picked this my rent angle and draw a rent angle here now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to import the image I'm going to use. Then this is the image I'm going to use here. Then I will expand the size of this image, then drag it over here, then I'll leave it at this point, then I'll click OK, then hold your Alt key, then you will see this sign. You can see where my mouse is showing, then you will see this sign, then you now click. So the same way when you right click, then you apply clipping mask. So this is a shortcut when you hold your Alt key, then you will see the sign and then you click on it, it will apply a clipping mask. Okay, so having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do here now, then I'm going to draw another rest angle from this position, then down to here. Okay, then go to my test tool, then I'm going to copy this color code here, then double click on this layer. Then highlight it and I'm going to paste it. So this is the color I'm going to use. So this color you can see from here. I picked this color from this place. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another red angle line. Something like this. Then I'm going to change the color to white. Then drag it down and I'll position it over here. Alright, after this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do on this one, and then I'm going to bring in my test again. Then I'm going to copy this test, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then increase the font size. Then I'll position it here the font size now I'm going to my character space then I'll leave it like this zero then I'm going to change the font then before that I'm going to look here to check which font I use so this is the font I'm going to use mega demo okay then I'm going to my fonts then I'm going to locate this font 
then increase it so okay like this then why i will duplicate this one control plus j then i'm going to drop it over here select the test tool again and i'm going to type this and like this then go back to your fonts and i'm going to use this font here josephine sun apply semi bold then i will position it around here so this way then i'm going to duplicate this one control plus j then take this one up now i'm going to move this one over here then select your test to while you highlight it then go back to your test and i'm going to copy this name here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste okay then select the test the name here then and i'm going to drag it here so that it will be center and i'm going to reduce the size then position it here so you can position it anywhere you want i'm going to select one of it then apply the drop shadow something like this then increase the opacity to 100% so you can see the outcome of it so something like this so you can apply your own the way you want it then you can apply it then I'm going to then right click and copy this layer style come over here then right click and I'm going to paste on it so then this is what i got from it okay so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to bring an ornament flow that is floral divider i'm going to bring it then go to your your folder then i'm going to import this one we we'll reduce the size then I'm going to position it around here then drag it to the center you can reduce the size then go back again and I'm going to bring this one the second one then I will reduce the size then bring it over here Then reduce it this way to make them open okay then i'll bring this one down a little then go back to your test and i'm going to copy the date here then you select your test tool the control plus v to paste so now i'm going to to pick this font here josephine sand then i'm going to type the font here then make it bold reduce the font size then something like this then you come over here and i'm going to increase the character spacing then select the date and one of this layer then apply vertical alignment Then you can select it to ensure that they are centralized so something like this okay so having done this one now so this is the first cover now we are going to the back cover so on the back cover then go to your rectangle and you will draw a rectangle like this then i'm going to duplicate this one here and this one here so the two i'm going to duplicate it so ctrl plus j to duplicate it then i will drag it up here 
So the one I duplicate, then hold your shift key while you move it over here. Then OK. Then you can see this layer here. Then you come over here. Then go to your folder. And I'm going to select this background here. And I'm going to position it around here. You can reduce it. To something like this. It's okay. Now, let's click and create a clipping mask. Then this is what you will have. Okay, now I'm going to draw another rent angle on top of this one. Then I will position my mouse here and draw it this way. Like this will be okay. Then I'm going to select this one and use my mouse to bring it down this way. Then increase the size. Something like this. Okay, so on this one now, I'm going to duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then hold your Alt key. Then you drag it this way. Okay. Then on this one, I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to apply this column. Then go to your drop shadow. Apply a drop shadow. Then I'm going to make the distance zero, the spread zero, and I will make the size around nine or eight is okay. So anyone you want, then. So if you want to increase it, you can increase it or make it any amount you want. So then either 9 or 13 is okay for me, then okay. Something like this. Then after this one, I'm going to my folder and I'm going to import this image here. So take it up. Reduce the size, not that much, but think like this will be okay. All right. Then you create a clipping mask, so something like this. So having done this one now, then the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this layer, this layer here, and I'm going to import this flora here, then increase the size. I'll bring it to this position. Now, rasterize it. Then, hold your Ctrl plus Shift, then you press U. So, you can see, it desaturate it. Now, I'm going to position it around here, like this. Then, reduce the opacity. Something like this. Okay. So having done this one, then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J, then turn this one off to mark it. Then I'm going to create a clipping mask on that right angle there. So the one I duplicate now, I'm going to select this layer. So this is the layer. Then and I'm going to, to bring this one down. This is where it is. Okay. Now, the one I duplicate, Control plus T, and I'll move it over here. And I'll position it here. Right. Then. Great a clipping mask to so something like this. Okay, 
then the last thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to import this brown here then reduce the size then i'll position it here So as you can see, the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to put another design here. So watch carefully. Okay, now go to your rent angle and I'm going to select this polygon here. And I'm going to draw it here. And I'm going to increase it. zoom in so that you can see it very well okay something like this all right so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do now the first thing so as you can see i'm going to duplicate this one control plus j to duplicate it so on this one now i'm going to reduce the size hold your alt key then I'm going to reduce the size this way, then OK. Now I'll click on this one, then I'm going to apply any color for now. Then on this same one, you can see this layer duplicated, then increase the size, then apply this color right click and create a clipping mask so what you will do now then you take this one up increase it then i will still increase it until i get what i want now this is what i want you can see i want it to follow this white line here something like this so you can see the differences now i have a white line here then i also have this other color here you see okay so now this one now i'm going to apply my image on this one now I'm going to import the image I'm going to use. Then position, position it here. Then you create a clipping mask like this. You can increase the size if you want. So something like this all right now we are done with this one so now that we are done with the cover so now we are going to the inner pages so these inner pages like what i'm going to do now so in this one we are going to be we're going to be fast about it so because everything is already on ground now so the design has been made already so we are going to be fast about it so the main thing i'm going to show you the foundation on how to do it manually so if you want to know about this more on how to design it manually so you can check this video which you have did before the recent one so end of this video you can go through it and to learn more about how to start the designing process from the beginning to the end so on this one now the design is available and all the resources in this one i'm going to put a link in the descriptions so that you can download it and make use of it so okay now we are going to the inner pages now so let's get started and i'm going to group all this one together hold your shift key then and you click the control plus g to group so why this one now is the cover page then i'm going to turn this one off all right so i'm going to my my resources now and import this one this is the first page 
page one and I'm going to the last one then page 12 I'm going to group these two then I will rename it page 1 and page what? page 12 so okay so you can see that the, this one is by the right and this other one is by the left the page 1 is by the right and the page 12 is what? is by the left so then we will get to there then I'm going to turn this one off then go to page 2 then page 2 will go to the left then Y page 11 will now come to the right then I'm going to group it and I will rename it page 2 and page 11 okay so the question is now how did it come about the page 2 now go to the left and page 11 go to the right okay like the example I showed you from the beginning you can see this is apart from the cover here you can see that the right is what is page one. You can see, so the right is page one. Okay, so as the right is page one now, this is what you can check. This is our page one and twelve. So the page one is by the right. Then and the last page, the last page is what is by the left as you can see so now then we are going to the page the page 2 now so when you open the page 2 you can see now that the page 2 come towards the page 2 is now by the left you see by the left why page 19 why page 19 will now go to what to the right this is page 19 so that is why you see that page 2 now go to the left and page 19 go to the right so this is the foundation how you will do it okay so the rest now i'm going to be fast about it so stay tuned and i'll turn this one off then import page 3 now page 3 will go to the right Y page 10 will now come to the left So this is 4 and 9, then 5 and 8, 5 and 8, then 6 and 7. So you can see how the page is now. The way you can see it, then we have 1 and then 1 and 12, 2 and 11, 3 and then 10, 4 and 9, 5 and 8 and 6 and 7. So, 
then this is how it is has been arranged so if you are doing this type of work or any type of booklet magazine so any book you are doing anything that carry numbers so this is the way you design it manually the beginning and the end the beginning and at the end so okay let's see it in photoshop now all right so this is our cover then this is our inner pages 1 and 12 then 2 and 11 then 3 and 10 4 and 9 then 5 and 8 and here is the last one 6 and 7 so 6 and 7 is the middle is the middle of it so that is all about this tutorial thank you so much and if you want to know more you can watch this video here for more clarification so thank you and remember to subscribe to my channel like and share if you like this video then do do please subscribe then and the last one again then if you want to also register a fiber account then you can see the link there in the description please follow the link then to create a fiber account thank you so much i really appreciate your following and don't forget to subscribe.